an Uber driver sparked fears of a terrorist attack after plowing into a group of people outside the Natural History Museum and launching them into the air, a court heard. Juma Omar's black Toyota Prius allegedly mounted the busy pavement in the tourist hotspot at around 2.20 p.m. on October 7 last year sending pedestrians sprawling before colliding with two cars. Up to 11 people suffered non-life-threatening injuries in the collision in South Kensington, southwest London. Omar was wrestled to the floor and detained by passers-by, the old Bailey Her. Counter-terrorism officers were dispatched to the scene which has remained cordoned off following the crash after pedestrians feared it was a terror attack. Prosecutor Bill McGivern said, Mr. Elmar was waiting for his passenger when his vehicle shot forward, mounting the pavement and hitting a number of pedestrians. People thought it was some kind of attack going on this man put his foot down on the accelerator and instead of taking his foot off he kept it down. He plowed through the people who were in the vicinity of the vehicle, knocked them down and this, the Crown say, amounted to dangerous driving. Members of the public were fleeing, they thought this might have been a terrorist attack. This was a classic case of, of pushing the wrong pedal and then continuing to push it. CCTV footage played to the jury showed the heart-stopping moment Omar slammed on the accelerator. People can be seen running in panic as Omar's car drove across the pavement before doing a U-turn and continuing to hit those in his path. Share this article Share the whole incident lasted just over six seconds during which time Omar did not take his foot off the accelerator, jurors were told. Omar's out-of-control Prius was only halted when he smashed into two parked cars. Fortunately no one suffered any serious injury, only cuts and bruises, jurors heard. Omar emerged from the car frantically saying I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. He was then wrestled to the ground and detained by passers-by. Omar later told police, suddenly the car started moving forward, I don't know how. I put the brake down and the car started moving, I couldn't control it, I don't know how this happened. It was out of control, I tried to brake, and the car was still moving. Dot investigators inspected Omar's car and found no faults with it, the court heard. Omar, of Barking, East London, denies one count of dangerous driving. After the incident, police said they were not treating it as terror related. The trial continues.